Here are the horoscopes for the week of the 13th to the 19th of June 2022. This week we approach the summer solstice, which will be the 21st to the 24th next week. And we also are in the last week of Mercury Retrograde's final direct phase. So as we know, there's a approaching phase, which is awareness, then a recalibration phase as Mercury goes retrograde. But then we have the forward shadow, as it were, the phase where we're just coming out to get the rewards of everything that we've learnt. So it's very much a feeling of wrapping up this week as we approach the solstice and as we are in the awareness phase of Mercury retrograde in Gemini. So this has all been about identity. Gemini is the twins. They like to bounce off other people, almost like a bat using echo as a navigation. Through interaction with other people, they realise who they are. They can push boundaries, they can learn, they can change. And Mercury rules Gemini. So Mercury is an element that changes shape from solid to liquid. So it's a mutable, changeable, interactive sign. And Mercury moves back into Gemini this week in time for the full moon. So this Mercury retrograde story has all been about who are we, what's life mirroring back to us, is that still us, is it a perception of our old self, is it just a story that's run for far too long, and the ability to change our mind. So the wrapping up this week of those stories, letting them go, moving into the higher, deeper self, the soul self, and letting go of the personality, which is just a story that's built up over time raising our conscious awareness and putting our attention inwards rather than bouncing off others, projecting on life or taking things personally. So it's been a really powerful time and this week we're wrapping up full awareness because once we realise and learn a lesson from something we don't have to experience that again. So we're tying a nice bow on a lot of those issues and being able to let them go now, making space for much greater to come in. To help with this, Saturn's just gone retrograde in Aquarius and is making a harmonic with the Sun this week. So if Mercury retrograde is changing our mind, changing our alignment and coming out more centred and strong and purposeful, then Saturn is like a bigger aspect of that. Saturn is our core, our true identity, our deep knowing, our wisdom, our integrity, our authenticity. And every year Saturn goes on a retrograde, but this year it's in Aquarius until late October. So we're taking the initial story of the Mercury retrograde in Gemini and taking it levels deeper into our self-knowledge and wisdom. So there's nothing that needs to be acted upon with this retrograde. Just know it's happening and allow that sense of true self and integrity to step forwards over the coming months. The main event of this week, though, is the full moon at 23 degrees Sagittarius at 12.51 p.m. UK time. So Sagittarius is all about clearing the way for broad horizons, going on an adventure, seeing the bigger picture, travelling the path, learning, experiencing, and then getting the deeper meaning and the wisdom of those experiences. So see where 23 degrees Sagittarius is for you. It's the higher mind, that can be spirituality, philosophy, education, anywhere where we broaden our mind from the more immediate personal and tackle the bigger questions, the bigger topics in life. So the sun opposite the moon in Gemini with Mercury and the moon in the shamanic Sagittarius old wise sign. At the end of this Mercury retrograde, very much going to get the rewards of our hard work, our introspection, clearing the path, elevating our consciousness and stepping out onto a whole new journey. So that's on Tuesday. As I've said, by Friday the 19th, we're out of the retrograde shadow. So we should have got those awarenesses, realizations and insights in order to make the necessary adjustments and actually be feeling lighter and more free as a result. And by the weekend, we've got Venus square Saturn. So this is one of the first challenges of the Saturn retrograde, which I spoke about earlier as going in and finding our integrity and revising who we really are on a much deeper level. So for Venus to make a square to Saturn will be one of the first challenges of this retrograde. And Venus is in Taurus, which is the heart, our values, our self-worth and honour. So there could be challenges here to 
firm up our integrity, to challenge our self-worth. Things could come up to make you stand on and for who you are, to make you question what you value and are you in a place of self-love. There's a feeling of non-attachment here, not looking for security or validation from others, but standing on our own two feet, centred in the heart. But with both those planets at home, Venus in Taurus and Saturn in Aquarius, then the key to that square is to have a look at any challenge that comes up, to allow, to feel it, to find the reason, the message and the meaning, but very much anchor into your core. This part of you that's not swayed by the daily goings on. This part of you that's always been you, your integral, honest self. And if you stay in that space and follow what feels right, true and kind and honest, then any challenges that come up at the weekend will be well met. So quite a big week really, not really day by day, but the full moon coming up on Tuesday, Mercury retrograde ending on Friday, summing up our experience since the 10th of May, really getting the message and the meaning, and then some new challenges coming on with the Saturn retrograde, all helping us on our journey to find our real self and let go of the limitations of the past. So if you'd like to see where this is happening for you, I am available, zoehind7 at gmail.com. I offer chart readings, coaching, and lessons in tarot, astrology, numerology, all intuitive. If you'd like to embrace these subjects for yourself, and start a new journey under the wise old moon of Sagittarius. So those are the horoscopes for this week, and I'll see you next week.